the Associated Press Southampton, NY, AP, one was about power. The other was about patience. Brooks Kopka has a game for the U.S. Open no matter the course, no matter the test, no matter the circumstances. He never lost hope when he began his title defense with a 75 and was 7 over par midway through the second round. He didn't lose his mind in the most punishing third round of a U.S. Open in nearly two decades. And with a cool head and a hot putter, he didn't give anyone a chance down the stretch Sunday at Shinnecock Hills. Kopka pulled away from a four-way tie for the lead with three birdies in five holes, held off Tommy Fleetwood and his record tying 63 and closed with a two-under 68 for a one-shot victory to become the first repeat U.S. Open champion in 29 years. I don't want to say I didn't think I could do it, Kopka said. But I knew that it was going to be that much more difficult. And to finally do it, it's much more gratifying the second time. I can really appreciate how hard it is to win a major. Kopka won with birdies on spacious air and hills last year. The signature moment from this US Open was a trio of putts to escape trouble on the back nine, two for par, one for bogey. I enjoy being pushed to the limit, Kopka said. Sometimes you feel like you are about to break mentally, but that's what I enjoy. I enjoy hard golf courses. I enjoy playing about the toughest in golf you are ever going to play. Shinnecock Hills was every bit of that, particularly on Saturday when conditions were so severe that the last 45 players to tee off shot over par. The USGA conceded the course was over the top and pledged to add water to slow it down. Fleetwood raced into U.S. In history, with a 63, without making birdie on the two par fives and missing an 8-foot birdie putt on the final hole. That cost him more than the record. It cost him a chance in a playoff. Kopka finished at 1 over 281, the first time since 2013 at Marion that no one broke par, and it was 13 shots more than his winning score at Aaron Hills. Curtis Strange, the last player to go back-to-back -back in this major in 1988 and 1989, watched the entire final round as the Fox Sports reporter on the ground, and they shared a brief hug off the 18th green. Hell of a job, Strange said to him. Fleetwood, who played with Kopka in the final group last year at Aaron Hills, finished his round as Kopka was finishing up the par 3 7th. The best players in the world are up there trying to win the U.S. Open, and watching them down the stretch, you've got nothing but respect for how well Brooks did, just to hold the putts at the right time. Fleetwood said, he kept it together, and he's a world player. He's one of the best players in the world. It wasn't great for me, but it was great as a golfer to watch how he did it. Kopka moved to career best no. Four in the world with his fifth victory, this one coming two months after he returned following torn tendons in his left wrist that kept him out the first part of the season, including the Masters. Dustin Johnson, part of the four-way tie for the lead to start the final round, couldn't keep up with one of his best friends. A birdie on the final hole gave him an even par 70 to finish alone in third and remain no. One in the world, Masters champion Patrick Reed flirted with the second leg of the Grand Slam. He was tied for the lead when he ran off five birdies in his opening seven holes. But Reed spent too much time in the high grass on the back nine and closed with a 68 to finish fourth. Rio Bag's first title of season Grand Rapids, Mish. AP, South Korea's Ryu So Yin won the Meyer LPGA Classic on Sunday for her first victory of the season and sixth overall, closing with a 5-under 67 for a two-stroke margin. Two strokes behind Anna Nordquist and Lee Ann Pace entering the round, Ryu had six birdies and bogey in the final round to finish at 21-under 267 at Blythefield Country Club. Caroline Masson was second after a 68. Lydia Ko shot a 67 to finish third at 18 under. Nordquist and Pace each shot 73, after each had a 64 on Saturday, to tie for fourth at 17 under with three others. 
speech.